The experience of being ill or injured is never completely a physical experience. Disease questions our beliefs, it triggers our thinking. In fact, the more physically injured we are, the more, if our mind is still aware, we engage in some form of philosophizing about the meaning of our life in the past, in the present and in the future. Originally among the ancient Greeks, philosophy was a practice of care that reconnected a healthy mind with a healthy body. The mind here was understood not only in psychological terms, but in philosophical terms. While our dominant practices today of psychological health tend to be normative, if not mechanistic, there is a practice related to philosophical health that is rooted within our presence in the world as self-possibility. As clinical practices were in the 20th century more and more adjusted to a arithmetic or biochemical view of being, there is a slowly emergent practice that relates to philosophical health that addresses humans as questioning beings, beings in need of meaning, whether they are in a process of rehabilitation or considered physically and psychologically sane. Those philosophical practitioners are offering since the 1980s a time for the examination of our life in terms of meaning, beliefs, values, and how those impact our everyday behaviors and even how the mind has an effect on the body. A philosophical practitioner myself, I work on the necessary and missing theory uh, of the practice, its intellectual history, and perhaps more importantly, how it could be implemented today as a complement of psychological or physical care. What could philosophical care perform if embedded in our clinical practices.